Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Trail Talk. I'm so glad you could join us. I know, I know, it's Monday. I know, we missed last week. I'm, I'm, I'm going to just apologize up front. We had just crazy stuff happen, and I had to be out of town all week. I made over a 3,000-mile journey. So anyway, it's good to be back, and it's good to have Trail Talk today, Monday. And it's great to have our good friend, Cindy Parks, here. Welcome, Cindy. Glad Thank you could you. join us today. Um, you know, Cindy, wears a, she wears a lot of hats around town. <laughs> um, and But today, she is here representing the Duncan Area Arts Hall of Fame. You, you may have been, if you're on Facebook and you know anyone from Duncan, you've probably seen something about the Duncan Area Arts Hall of Fame, which is yeah. it's finally here. Yeah. Guys, planning and planning and preparation for this has been going on since August, since right. since August of last year. So that right there should tell you this is going to be a fabulous night to have all of these months. And whenever I say I'm talking about a committee of 15 yeah, ish, like about a dozen, about yeah. a dozen uh -huh. people um, meeting monthly and everyone taking responsibilities each month to prepare and plan and bring together. I like to call it a gala. Oh, I love that. Isn't that a fun yeah. word for the <laughs> night? I, it's a word. gala. Gala spectacular. Yes, <laughs> yes exactly. So um, this is the fourth. Right. This is the fourth Duncan Area Arts Hall of Fame. Um, of course, we had the COVID year that um, mm -hmm. we weren't able to have that, but because um, of the selections and everything, um, the it was kind of like was that was the third year? Um, yeah, that would have been the third year. Yes, so the third year. Uh huh. Uh, the third year was carried over yes. and presented last year right. in January of 2022. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so we are um, excited to kind of pick back up now and start gaining momentum again yeah. and have a back-to-back -back yes. year of um, uh, the Hall of Fame. And it's a lovely event. Yeah. It nice. really is. Mm -hmm. It's it's nice. and. If you live in Duncan, you're going to know what I mean when I say we don't have that many um, opportunities to kind of dress up and be fancy. Right. <laughs> you know, that, that is one night you can dress up and be fancy. Um, if if you point. if you want to. I mean, there's not there's not right. like a true dress code or whatever. Right. But if you if you are if you like an opportunity to do right. that, that's the night. Yeah. That's one of those it's nights to do that. To do. That. Mm -hmm. So, so what's what's your favorite thing about these? I I think you've probably been involved since the beginning. Well, I was not involved with the very first year, okay. but I have been involved with the last um the, the last couple ones and uh -huh. um and this one, of course. But I think my favorite is just recognizing the inductees. That's got to be my favorite because. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have so many people in our community that are deserving. I mean, I, I mean, people are just all the time, all the time commenting about all the talent, and you know that's that doesn't even include the patrons and the pathfinders, all the different people mm -hmm. that are interested in the arts and supporters of the arts. There's so many. You're one. And it's just incredible how many we have. And mm -hmm. so it's nice that we give those people recognition. Oh, I totally yeah. agree. And and um, so I've, I've gone to, I guess, two of uh -huh. the previous three. Okay. So yeah. um, I'm pretty excited. Last mm -hmm. year, um, my husband and I went, we went to the, um, we we got we got VIP tickets yes. and went to the before and then the ceremony and then the after and it was just a fun. It's yes. it's just a really fun time. There are so many people there. You get a um, opportunity to meet mm -hmm. or say hi to if you already know the right. inductees. Yes, and Not, congratulate them. I, take yes. a photo with them. We're going to have Debbie Duggar there this year. She'll be. 
taking photos and uh, able to print them right there. So mm -hmm. that would be new. Mm -hmm. And um, you mentioned the VIP ticket. VIP tickets are 75. They have not gone up on prices. Mm -hmm. And uh, that includes the, the VIP reception at 530. And then again, after the show, it includes a, a special seating section. Um, it includes parking right in front of the Simmons Center. And that includes a um, raffle drawing for a Ben Harrington painting. A beautiful, yeah. <laughs> beautiful Ben Harrington original right. piece. That he painted just for this. Yes, and, and donated for this event. Yeah. I mean, it been such a talent, such a, another mm -hmm. one of those very talented people yes. from Duncan. Yes. Um, he's, he doesn't live here now, but what, what a great way for him to show our community support, mm -hmm. even though he has moved away. Right. Um, I, I love it. But yeah, if you love, if you like anything Ben Harrington done, yeah. you're going to love this piece. <laughs> it's and also, if you look up the Duncan Area Arts Hall of Fame um, Facebook page, it's on, there's a picture of that painting, isn't oh, there? Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure there is. There's been it's been yeah. on Facebook, but well, it has been it is there. <laughs> yes, it's been on it's been on there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then uh there's also general admission tickets for 35, and that gets you a one and a half to two hour show and a reception. The reception is finger foods and um um open bar, and then we'll have some local artists displaying their art that's also for sale. And we'll have Matthew Dean, who'll be playing the grand piano in there. Oh, that's yeah. going to be so nice. That's so nice. Yeah, it's fun to just walk around and see people all smiles, <laughs> enjoying a little food, a little beverage, and yeah. listening to you just have a piano playing in the background. <laughs> I love things like that so much. They're so fun. <laughs> They're awesome. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> so. We have, we are, we're selling tickets to the event. I get to be on the committee this year. The, yeah. Yeah. So the planning committee, I'm very excited about that. Um, it's been fun. Um, but we sell the tickets. Why, why do we sell the tickets? What, why are we selling? Okay, that's a great question. So the tickets go towards the upkeep of the auditorium because it takes a lot to keep everything up to date. You've got the first year we worked hard to get new lighting and achieve that goal. So now we are working on sound and there's so much to the sound equipment. Uh, the auditorium itself needs some special padding around on the walls and we are in dire need of microf new microphones. Mm -hmm. So there's just always something that has to be updated in there. And we are super fortunate to have the Simmons Center Auditorium. And we have had so many people come through uh, with SeaTac Live concert series that have said that the acoustics in there are just remarkable. Mm -hmm. um, they said it was very well built and that for a town of our size, we are super fortunate to have that facility. So we should never take it for granted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was at one of those concerts Oh. When, when they uh, they said that the performers said that from the stage, they were telling those of us in the audience how fortunate we were. And they said these were three young women who played string instruments, piano, that cello, was probably take three. Yes, yes. Yeah. And they are professional musicians who perform. Um, well, they do live performances, mm -hmm. of course, but they also work on like orchestral um pieces that are in movies yes and so they are I mean they are all they, over the world they know when a place has really good acoustics or not and I was just so impressed whenever they said that that mm -hmm. night mm -hmm. and the fans are going to that yeah. right right and we have um we Duncan as a community we have the SeaTac concert series and that's four or five concerts mm -hmm. at a year right performed there the um uh, middle school uses yes. that um, auditorium yes. for their choir and mm -hmm. band performances. The high school has done some performances in there. Uh, Duncan Little Theater oh, yeah, uses lot. that auditorium for their performances. And, you know, a lot they do a lot of musical productions. Right. 
and heartbeat. A heartbeat. Always yes. Has to recycles things. Yes, that's yes. right. And so if you think about all of those groups, and then there are others who other groups who have used that auditorium right. for concerts and mm -hmm. different things. Mm -hmm. um, it is um, after a number of years, it's just like anything in your home. You have to yeah. keep things up. You can't yes. expect something to last forever. Right. And the sound equipment is um, it's used just oh, repeatedly. Yes. They have had baccalaureates there. Mm -hmm. they have, and you think about these are just microphones and speakers at being used, but those are just used over and over. And so those are going to be worn out. And I'm right. I'm just really pleased to be a part of the group who's kind of helping keep that up, even though we haven't used the auditorium, the Chisholm Trail Heritage Center hasn't used the auditorium mm -hmm. because of the the um uh, avenue you guys have chosen to make it a fundraiser mm -hmm. you have opened it up for bit um not performing arts but the visual arts yes. community to yes. be get to be a part of supporting the Simmons Center and that wonderful uh, right. venue that we have right and and you just brought up the, a great point Chisholm Trail Heritage Center is now joining us for the ceremony that night. Yes. And for the first time, they will be giving um, an art award to um, the late Alan Wooten. Yes, that's right. He's yeah. going to be the very first recipient, mm -hmm. the inaugural <laughs> uh, lead writer award. And so we're just so yes. thrilled to that. be able to. I know. 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 I we went with that one, but um, it's it's very exciting to be a part of that, and um, just be, and I was talking about visual artists because you know I think about us as um, with our the Garris Gallery, mm -hmm. um, but we also events that we have here we're always um, having live performances. Right. And so, yeah, super, super great to just be included in this community of people who are, yeah. who are supporting all of this. So the arts in Duncan, um, not just the Simmons Center being a, a fabulous place, but just the people in the community who love art mm -hmm. and want this community to be um, kind of saturated right. with all different kinds of yeah. art. It, I just, I think it's wonderful. Yeah. I heard uh, Sharon Burnham say the other day, she has been, she, she's lived here for umpteen years mm -hmm. and has been involved with the arts ever since she was, ever since she moved here. And she said that she has never seen Duncan be so strong in the arts, arts world as right now. Wow. Yeah. So that's, that's wonderful. Uh, oh, that's pretty amazing. Yes, it is. That's so, super weird. exciting. I, it is super exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so buy your ticket, right? You can believe it or not, you can buy tickets the night of. Yeah. If you can. wanted to go and buy VIP tickets, get there at 5 30, mm -hmm. buy your VIP tickets and go into that area and you would have special seating. Mm -hmm. um, you could move your car to the special parking. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it, those, those things will be available or just general admission. Right. All exactly. of that will be available all the way up to that night. Yeah. So, I mean, we really want everyone to mm -hmm. um, who's interested to come. But you might be wondering, well, I mean, I like the arts and everything, but like who's going to be inducted? What what's kind of special things are happening that night? So you want to kind of talk about besides sure. um, the Heritage Center presenting Alan's uh, the award to Alan Wood. Yes. What else do we have on board for that night? Uh, well, let's see. We have other um, arts organizations that are presenting awards, which SeaTac is doing, is presenting awards to uh, Patrick Brown mm -hmm. <laughs> and Jana Oakman. And then DLT is presenting awards to Lee McIntyre and Lois Dawn or LD Jones. And of course, we mentioned the Heritage Center. Mm -hmm. And Heartbeat is presenting to Lauren Martin, who has been a dancer and uh, career dancer. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And then our inductees. Oh, we have seven inductees, which is super exciting because we've never had that many. And it's just a wonderful thing because the more you can 
uh, the more praise you can give and the more recognition you can give to me, the better. Right. And well, right. we're having uh, Stephanie Gregston. If anybody has been a uh, dancer at the Heartbeat, she initiated that. She moved here and started that and had it for umpteen years. Wow. <laughs> it's, a, it's a real legacy. Yeah. I mean, it's a Real legacy, yes, and it's continuing on, and she is still teaching there. She does a lot. She's also an artist, not just a pathfinder. So, mm -hmm. and she's done a whole lot for the community. And then we have uh, Dr. Martha Berger, who is could be pathfinder patron and artist, but mm -hmm. uh, we are inducting her as an artist. She has been a musician almost her whole life. And uh, she's also uh, a phenomenal photographer mm -hmm. and has done some amazing shows. She even had some paintings at the Capitol and mm -hmm. for a couple of months. She does this cool editing with yes. her yes. pictures that she takes. Make it unique mm -hmm. and original. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have patron Marilyn Hugan. And she it has a strong connection to the Heritage Center. She actually initiated the art education program at the Heritage Center. She's done a tremendous amount of, of work in the community too. So she is um, being inducted as patron. Mm -hmm. And then we have Jimmy Sin, the late Jimmy mm -hmm. Sin, who uh, touched the lives of numerous students through his music instruction and reflections. Uh, including my middle son, Blake, who has really carried that in his heart and mm -hmm. loves Jimmy's end of this day. And I what he, what he did for him. See. Yes, and, and, and your kids too. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. after Jimmy um, passed away, his brother Kevin, who was already yes. a, he's a, the high school choir teacher, Jimmy's yes. in. Um, and the Reflections is the show choir, mm -hmm. uh, the name of the show choir, I should have said. But yeah, Kevin um, Zinn, then he stepped up to the mm -hmm. high school and um, yeah, just continues that tradition. Mm -hmm. And yeah, my two of my boys were in Reflections. Yeah. And it, it's, a, it's just one of those really, um, it gives kids who may have no future at all in music mm -hmm. a chance to really experiment and have fun. And it's also kind of a jumping off point for those kids who may have a future in music. Mm -hmm. It gives them a lot of experience singing and dancing and all right, of that. Right. And so, yeah. And, and we didn't have the Arts Hall of Fame when Jimmy Zinn was alive. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so incredible that it has started. And we don't need to waste any time getting these people recognized and inducted. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We have um, Scott Vestal. And Scott Vestal left home, left Duncan. He, he, he was raised here, but he left when he was about 15 to go play with a band, a family band. And then he played with Larry Sparks and he's played all over the world. He um, has his own recording studio in Nashville. He has his own style of banjo that he has created. And so he, oh, that's he cool. is very masterful <clears throat> in the banjo. Uh, we have... Uh, May and Hoy Axton, and of course, May uh, co wrote Heartbreak Hotel mm -hmm. with Tommy Durden, Elvis's first number one hit. Right. And uh, she and Elvis were lifelong friends. You may be familiar with the mural downtown, mm -hmm. it's uh, painted of her, and Hoyt uh, is her son, and uh, he also had number one hits done by Three Dog Night, and that would be um, Jeremiah was a bullfrog, joined in the world, <laughs> and never been to Spain. Yeah. Um, and he, there's Hoyt's son, May's grandson, Matt Axton, which he, he, he was told me about. Uh -huh. He was a guest on Trail Talk. Yes, he was a guest about. on Trail Talk, and he's going to be coming back all the way from California, and um, he is going to actually be the finale of the show that night. Oh, yay. Yeah, he's going to 
seen never been to Spain and Heartbreak Hotel. So how Very much better does it? <laughs> I and love we, that. Yeah, and we have some other uh, great entertainment as well. We have uh, Wood Willow, which is a band basically made up a lot of my family members. <laughs> See, he has a little connection to Wood Willow. <laughs> and when you're a chairperson, you know, you get to pick. Exactly. <laughs> I don't have a problem with this. <laughs> Luckily, they're talented. Exactly. <laughs> yes, they're very talented. We, um, we have, so they'll be uh, performing a couple of songs. And Veronica Hodgson of Hodgson's Music Studio, she's going to be kicking it off with a song. And then something we've never done before, we're going to have some comedy. We've got OKC Improv coming and they're gonna do some audience interaction and uh, Kyle Gossett is from Duncan and he's going to be partaking in that mm -hmm. and kind of heading that. And then um, let's see, uh, Kyle is also going to be playing a little bit of keyboard on the side. So if there's any kind of wall happening, mm -hmm. you can fill it with music. You know I how the Academy music. Awards yeah. are. It's going to be very much like that. Exactly. <laughs> so we have to have some fillers. <laughs> but um, I think reflections. Reflections. Uh, some of the reflection students are going to be our ushers. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful that they're going to come and help support that? And heartbeat. Heartbeat is also dancing. Yes, yes they're going to have like 50 dancers on stage and it's going to be incredible. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited about that. Uh, for sure. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> well, I was just, I was trying to remember because um, oh, we have a whole cool. slate. I mean, just, mm -hmm. I mean, and I wanted to make the distinction that um, the Hall of Fame inductees are the seven that you just went through, right? But the others, the ones you mentioned early, those are from separate organizations yes. who are who have awards that they wanted to recognize some specific people, right? Or um, just their uh, like like um, the Heritage Center giving Alan Wooten the mm -hmm. award just for mm -hmm. his contribution to the arts. Um, here at the Heritage Center. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because sometimes those art organization awards and those people will oftentimes be um, nominated for induction. Mm -hmm. And um, lots, we don't know who the arts organizations are going to choose when we start planning. And we don't know who the inductees are going to be when we start planning. Uh, so we asked LD months ago, LD Jones months mm -hmm. ago, if she would be the MC, and now she's getting an award from DLP. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you just never know um, uh, who's going to be nominated, mm -hmm. who's going to be inducted, and so it kind of makes it fun too. It does. It really does. And um, so, I mean, from that long list of wait, um, yeah, no, you already said. It. Okay. I was thinking of someone's name. I was in my mind. I'm going through all of the posts that have been yeah. on Facebook yeah. because um, there it's sure a I it's a big it. big night. Yeah, um, I, I just I mean I hope you guys are at just kind of as impressed as I am. It's not just going to be people's names, someone coming up saying thank you for an award and walking off. There's going to be. Um, uh, really great entertainment mm -hmm. mixed in with right. all of that. And um, so it's it's going to be well worth it to grab a ticket and come and support, support the artists, mm -hmm. the inductees, the arts community, the Simmons mm -hmm. Center. Um, and it I, the Simmons Center uh, convention side, I mean, that's what the money is right. being raised for. Yes. It's for that that end, the north end of the Simmons Center. It's, it's specifically for the auditorium for upgrades to help keep a um, a very, um, I mean, I almost said world-class. I don't know if it's a world-class auditorium, but it's probably really up there. Yeah, and, and we want high quality, and a lot of things are going digital, and so we need to keep up with the times mm, and make right. it make it the best that it can be mm -hmm. so that when so when uh, 
SeaTac Live has concerts come in. They give us a rider, and that rider we have to send to the Simmons Center. And then the Simmons Center can approve whether or not we can have that certain group because sometimes the sound mm -hmm. um, qualifications or requirements or you know whatever that they want, sometimes we can't meet that. Mm -hmm. And so we want to be able to meet any kind of requests Request, that right. these artists are giving. Mm -hmm. And if we get if we get state of the art equipment, then we can do that. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly right. Well, I think it sounds like just a very, very fun time. Listen to me. I've got tickets. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to take it before I go there. It's it's and it's super easy to get tickets because actually you could probably ask Cindy. Did you do you have some tickets to sell? I have tickets to sell. I can so, get tickets to sell. I don't have yeah. it at this moment, but I can get tickets to yeah. sell very or easily. You can just call the Simmons Center. Yes. And or stop by. Or stop by, and we will put that phone number in the comment section on this when we post it. Oh, that's so that great. yeah, just in case you don't want to have to go dig that out, we'll put it on there for you. You just call and they'll give you all the information you need about coming by and getting your tickets. That's awesome. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So I think it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Everyone who's anyone is gonna be there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Be there or be square. <laughs> so you guys join in, join us Saturday night, January the 28th at the Simmons Center. VIP starts at 5.30. Seating for the program will start at? Uh, for VIP 5.45, they can go in and pick their seat and go back to the reception if mm -hmm. they want. Um, general admission, doors open at 6.00. The show starts at 6 30 mm -hmm. and then there's a reception for everyone after mm -hmm. so there will be a little there will yeah. be a fun time together with people the whole evening so you know don't worry if it's gonna be a little bit late you deserve <laughs> to stay up late once in a while on a Saturday night <laughs> anyway you guys join us Saturday at the Duncan Area Arts Hall of Fame 2023 yes it's Yay. gonna be a great evening and so until we see you then, yeah. happy, happy trails. trails. <laughs>